welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Martinez and you are at the home of the Forever Theater Kid. I am here today to teach you how to submit on Backstage. If you don't know what Backstage is, it is an audition database primarily in the United States. I believe it is accessible in other countries as well. I'm going to show you how to submit through the app and through the website. So if you want to know how to submit for your next job or your next gig as a performer, then stick around. And before you do that, before we get into the nitty gritty of the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I bring you new theater related content every single week just for you, just for my Forever Theater Kids. Come home, stay, pull up a chair, pull up a coffee, and let's get to work. Editing Emily here. Hi friends, this, I just wanted to give a little precursor, I guess, to this. This video was filmed much earlier this year. It was filmed in, I wanna say like early fall, and but the all the content and everything I say is still very relevant to how submitting on Backstage works. It's still the same process. These auditions don't exist anymore, and also, this is all pre-pandemic that is happening. I'm not going to say the word because it will demonetize me. Yes, YouTube is demonetizing. We're saying the pandemic's name. Now there's probably even more self-submissions happening. Uh, so I definitely wanted to get this out to you because Backstage has a lot of those self-submissions available to people now. But I just wanted to let you know this was filmed quite some time ago, but all the information on how to submit to different roles, and auditions and opportunities is still um, still quite relevant. So enjoy the video and go to it, friends. Auditions are really stressful, right? Auditions are anxiety-inducing. I know I've had a panic attack once or twice before an audition. It's really great that we have the option now to submit online. It makes life easier. It also makes it like you can get to more auditions because I have spoken about the woes of being a non-union actor before. Hopefully in the f near future I will become union so I can get into more auditions. Sometimes your best bet is to self-submit. I love a self-submission. I will do them all the time. I love self-submitting for roles, for contracts. It just makes life easier for me sometimes because I can get it done in bulk and it kind of feels really empowering to take the take it back into my own hands and to put it into a screen and say, hey, this is me, these are the best qualities of me without my nerves getting involved. Here's me doing what I do best. And that's how I really think how you should think about self-submissions is that it's not a cop-out, it's not a easier way of auditioning. You're, you still have to present yourself in the best way possible. You know, make sure that your reels are good. Make sure that, that the video quality is good. Make sure that you have good lighting. I think I'll do another whole nother video on how to create a video submission for like a musical or something. Like I'll put a little clip right here of, you know, one that I just did did recently. I don't think I got the part. I don't think I got into the show, but I think the submission was really good. It's like any audition. You don't know if you're gonna get the role. Just by submitting doesn't mean you're going to get a callback or get an actual audition. You know, it's another, it's another facet of you. And if you've got the energy to do it, do it. I am going to uh, attempt, the attempt is real, to screen record what I'm doing on my computer because it will be easiest to see it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into Backstage, right? Let's go. Backstage.com. This video, by the way, isn't sponsored by Backstage. This is just what I use. I pay for my own subscription, but Backstage, I love you, so if you want to hit your girl up, this actually probably could be a whole video in itself, but if you have a Backstage account, you want to make sure that it's like, it's looking the way you want it to. You want to make sure you've got the pictures you like, you've got the resumes you want, you've got, you know, this is pending that you have all that set up already. So if you don't have that set up, I'll create a different video on that. Get yourself set up, make it look the way you want. Today we are talking about submitting for an actual show. So I'm going to, let's go to casting calls. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to use as an example, I'm going to use a self-submission that has worked for me recently. I submitted online because the option was there. So I was like, why not? I'm going to submit online. The show looked good for me. Looks like I could do well in it. And um, so I submitted my materials and they actually asked me to come in and audition for them personally. So I'll go to that and I'll show you how I did it. So you go up in this little corner right here where it has a little check mark like a little list 
and um, that's where your applications are. But first, let me show you how to get to your applications. So you want to go to casting calls before you've decided you want to submit to things. You really should filter, you know, your age, your gender, or how you how you identify as gender, uh, location of where you are. I only really submit to things that are 50 miles within the New York City radius. Usually other things pop up, like that won't limit me from seeing other things, but it will just help narrow down my search. The theater performing arts, arts filter that I have. Let's go to this one, let's see. Is there, a, can I submit? Backstage will always tell you if they're not sure if it's a scam or not, so they will always give you a warning because they put it through its own filtering process. <clears throat> so they tell you beware of scams, which is really great, beware of scams, because I've almost got scammed multiple times. And then I told backstage about it and they were like, thank you so much, we'll take that off. I try to go on at least maybe once a day just to, I usually get an email to my email account saying that these new roles become available. If they look right for me, I'll save them into my uh, applications and then I'll do them later. I'll submit for them later when I'm at, at at my leisure, which is really nice because I can also do it in my own time. Say if I was looking for a cruise ship job. Oh, look at that, Crystal Cruises, female lead artist. That looks cool. I want to audition for that. I'm right for that, which I'm not. Height range, 5'6 to 5'9. Rude. You want to hit apply, your whole application thing is going to be there. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to save this because I actually don't want to submit for this one. Okay, so you kind of need to go through and find which ones that you can actually submit for. You can't submit for every show. Okay, I wanted to actually submit for this one. So this is great. Okay, so this is for Molly, the Manatee, the musical. So it will give you the description. You can see right here the description of what the show is, who's directing it, if it's paid, you know, when the casting notice expires. So you can go down the list of the roles and see which one you're right for. There's no limit to what you can apply for. They will suggest, oh, maybe this one isn't right for you. Uh, the age is different from what you say you have. But you can, you can submit for anything. So I say go for it. Go for whatever character speaks to you, even if there's part of the character that doesn't, you don't fit that description. If you feel like you want to go for it, go for it. So you go up to the top right hand corner and you select a role. Or you can go down here to the roles section and apply directly from there. Uh, this is a great place to go if you're like, oh, I want to submit to this, but I don't have the time right now or the energy. <laughs> so I will submit at a different time. So you can save draft there. But right now I'm going to apply for it. So why not? Let's go for Macy the Manatee. But here's my whole setup. These are all the pictures that I've uploaded and recently used or use quite often. And then I have all my all of my links that I also have and use quite often. I have an audio, I have my resume, and then there's a section at the bottom for your cover letter. Your cover letter is basically just you introducing yourself and a quick like elevator pitch of why they should choose you for the audition. And over here it just reminds you of the details of the role and why you think you should, like the reasons why they want you or the reasons why you should be submitting. So I, since this is a children's show, I'm going to go through my pictures and take out the pictures that don't really apply to this kind of call. So anything that's kind of sultry, I'm going to take out. I have a couple things that are up for like modeling gigs I want to go for or blogger gigs that I want to go for. So I'll take those out. I'll keep my two main headshots that I have, which are very different from what my hair and makeup look like now. I'm going to keep some show pictures up because I will speak about the show roles that I have right now. So we've got fun, cute ones, inviting ones. It's a children's show, so we want to stay smiley and animated. Okay, so now, so those are the pictures I'm going to go with. Let's see if there's any other ones. You can go to add new to see if there's any other photos that you didn't realize you had. You might want to add, oh, there's one from, that's high school, but you can't really see how young I look in that. So I will add that one, add selected, and that will be added to the mix. So I think this is a good general idea of what I would submit for this children's show. Lots of smiley pictures where I look quite young and inviting, nothing too intimidating or harsh, bright colors, children's show, right? Now I'm gonna go to the videos. Um, for this kind of thing, I wouldn't need a live reel. I wouldn't need when I'm singing with a band. So I'm gonna take the live reel out. These are videos that I did with 17, 17 online. Um, they show my personality if they choose to watch them, because I always mention that I have a YouTube channel because I think it's important and it's part of who I am and what I do. And it's always like an option that um, I could be telling them, hey, like I could do content for the show in the future. So I usually do keep YouTube related things up. I don't know if that's great or if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's just what I do right now. 
and uh, no one's told me otherwise yet, so I do keep them up. So I'm quite smiley in these and quirky and fun, so I'm gonna keep them. It was a film I did. I don't think it really applies to this, so I'm gonna take it out. It doesn't require me to have audio, and this audio is old. I actually haven't listened to it in a while, so I'm gonna take that out. So this is my resume. Nothing in this resume needs to be changed or altered, so I'm going to keep that as is. Now, for the cover letter. I have to create a template. That's something I need to do. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go, so I'm going to save the application I'm in. That application saved. I'm going to go to past applications. I'm going to go to a audition that I had or an audition that I submitted for that similar style for this show. I also know that this one has gotten me some traction. They've, this company's emailed me to um, send more submissions. So this is a good one to go to. So this one talks about uh, genres I've sang with, sang for how many years I worked on cruise ships, which is a really long time gig. It's a good thing to talk about. That I worked with uh, customer service and problem solving, great for kids. I've worked with events with Total Entertainment and Yuletide Carolers, very interactive, engaging types of work. And then I talk about musical theater roles that I've had recently. So I'm gonna copy and paste that, and then I'm gonna go to, and I'm not gonna even touch this because this application is still active. So I'm gonna go back to my, just don't even touch it, don't even save it or anything like that because just don't touch it. Go to your applications and go back to the one that you were just working on. So I'm gonna go back to Molly the Manatee, and I'm going to copy and paste that one in there. You should have an active note that has different um, templates and different templates for your different cover letters. I should do that. I'm going to do that. Emily, you're going to do that. Okay, so we are all set. The cover letter is there, but we want to maybe just tweak it a little bit so it's specific for this call, right? Because not every call is the same. Maybe mention something about the show in particular if you have a connection to it, or if you don't want to, that's okay too. You only have 500 characters. You want to put your best foot forward. Talk about yourself as much as possible. Amp yourself up. Make yourself look like they need you. Okay, so just make sure your spelling is all correct. I usually have Gabe check it, but he is still sleeping at the moment. Just double check that everything you like is there. And then apply now. And it's easy as that. And it's really that easy. So now I'll just show you um, where applications go. If you feel like you wanted to add something later, if you're like, oh crap, I forgot about that role that I'm that interested or that skill, like, oh, I can juggle. Juggling's not on here. It's a new skill I've learned this past week. Let me put it on. It will apply to this role. But... No, please, when you're ready. The call is still active. You can go into your active applications, go in and change it. Did it, didn't it say right there? It says, view or edit application just go right in there you can change anything you want perfect that doesn't guarantee that they'll see the new that people i don't know if they get updated if there's like a new update to an application or if they've once they've seen it that they don't look at like the people the casting people don't look at it anymore i don't know that i don't think you would know that either I don't, is that's the process i go through for every single audition i go for. The one thing that I wish Backstage would do more is I wish that they were like, when you get messages, it, it doesn't act quick enough to like be like, hey, you got a message on Backstage. So, or you got an invite to audition on Backstage. So it's, I wish that that would happen more. So the next thing I'm going to show you really quick, because I don't want this video to go on too long, because this is basically the same thing, but I want to show you how to do it on the app as well. Okay, so I go into my app, which is the Backstage app. It's like, it's like the same thing as the website it looks exactly the same as super cute actually and it will take you to your, your profile directly it won't take you to the main site one drawback so the backstage app is really mainly for auditioning and for submitting not for looking through the magazine not for finding out recent news you really have to find that through the desktop which is fine because this is more for on the go i don't think many people are using the app that often to find news i think they want to do it for auditions to find out and to sort out their lives so it's really the same thing. See here, the it actually says saved drafts right here in the corner for um, Crystal Cruises that we just auditioned for or we just put aside. So let's click on that. It's the same exact setup. It's just in a smaller condensed form. Roles as lead female vocalist. Same thing that we saw earlier. I can apply. I'll just hit apply. And same thing goes here. So the 
actually the red star, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the red star is the picture that they will see immediately. That's that's what I have right now. I don't really know why I have that. I have to change that because that's, it's a great picture, but I don't know if it really represents me at the moment. For this type of call, I would keep all of my cruise ship content here. And then I'd probably take out, here I go up into edit, it takes you directly here. So the red means that's the main thing that they would see in your media locker. The media locker is where you have all of your pictures, it's where you have all of your um, links, it's where you have all of your information. The red outline, that is, that's the picture that they see immediately. So for this one, I think I'm gonna change it to, I actually don't even like that. So let's add a different picture, right? Let's add a different one. What did I do? I just went to upload new photo library, dated one of my older headshots, and I think I will use that. So that's actually the one I'm going to use. So I'm gonna make that one red, great. I'm gonna keep all my headshots, I'm gonna keep that other one, and I'm also gonna keep all the ones that are cruise ship related. So y'all have seen these before. And then anything that I take off of the blue won't show up. There we go. Now it's a little less cluttered, right? So next I'm going to, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put in my show reel because that's an important one for me to have. But let's go see, mm, they don't really need to see all of these videos, it's not specific to this type of a call. So I'm going to unclick all these YouTube videos, it doesn't apply, they wouldn't need it. And you know what, yeah, I usually always keep my channel trailer, why not? But I have my show reel, my live reel when I'm singing with bands, and some other things where it says I'm on a cruise ship. I'm gonna take this out because it's not necessary, but I might keep the audio of my show reel in case they only want to listen to it. So see how it has a red dot there? The last thing I need to put up is a cover letter. So yet again, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't have a cover letter ready. So I'm gonna save it. Application has been saved. Awesome. So I'm gonna go back to my applications. So this one I talk about cruise ships. So I'm just gonna highlight it all. Copy. Done. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to change anything here because it's still it's archived, so it actually wouldn't do anything. But don't want to mess with it. Don't want to mess with an old one. Go to your drafts. Go to the, the call you're in. I don't like doing this one as much because it's actually it's just hard for me to type like long things on an app. I don't know why. It's just not my thumbs and my fingers and blue. That's why I just prefer to do it on a computer. It's just easier for me. But for a lot of people, it's much easier to submit on an app. I will submit on the app like I'm doing right now, but it's not my preferred choice. Going through it, so I think that's good. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to hit apply now, right there. And it's as easy as that, way to go. Thank you Backstage. So that's how you submit through Backstage. Uh, it's really, really simple. The hardest part about submitting through Backstage is honestly getting all of your stuff up there before you start submitting. I really suggest to get it the way you want it to look, get the pictures that you want, get as many pictures up there as possible. There's no limit to the pictures, so put really nice quality show pictures up, headshots up, full body shots, performance shots, anything that you really think shows who you are as a performer, make sure that you put those up there because that's what's going to make you stand out from the crowd. You want things that are gonna be crisp and nice. When you have really fuzzy and grainy pictures, don't put them up. They're not, it's not a good representation of you because there's so many ways to also make pictures look better now and free ways, like, like different apps, like Facetune. I don't use Facetune to like modify the way I look at all. Sometimes I might lighten up my teeth a little and make my eyes sparkle a little, but I'm never gonna change my shape. I'm never gonna change my skin. I, I just don't change anything like that. I make things crisp, I make things sharp so that they pop. I think that's probably the hardest part about backstage is getting it all set up and really making it represent who you are. Because once you do that, once you get all that set up, then it's just like boom, 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 submit, submit, submit. So I hope you liked this video. I hope this video was informative to you. If you have any questions down below or if you're like, Emily, don't do that, do this, it will make your life so much easier, aka the templates, I know. Tell me down below. Follow me on Instagram so you can see all my updates on life as a performer. Happy audition season, friends. Make sure that you just remember that you are so important, you're so enough. If you go into an audition and you really feel like you blew it, it's okay. They probably won't remember it, and if they do, it will just be something to laugh about in the future. It's gonna be okay. Every audition is a learning experience, so 
don't think of it as the beginning or the end of anything. Just go in there ready to learn, show who you are, and put your best foot forward. And sometimes it will be great and sometimes it won't be. But then you can always submit online. Show them who you are because who you are is awesome and you should be proud of it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. New videos every week. Click that bell notification so that you know every single time that I upload. So many playlists of videos. Um, this one in particular I think will work really well for you. I think this video is like, I think you're going to love this video. So make sure that you go over there and watch it because binge me, why not? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!